and we are back in the best place for spring and summer snowboarding, Mount Hood, Oregon. So I just bought some new snowboard boots and this is how you can tell that you need new boots. Old boot, <laughs> can almost do it with one hand. It's gone soft. New boot, it's stiff. I've also got a new snowboard. So my old park board was the Capita Indoor Survival, but with the slushy snow, I started to feel like this board was too soft. I did switch over to the Capita Aeronaut, but this one is very directional. Even the stance on it is you can't set up the stance to be completely twin. So not ideal for park, but it was better because it was quite a bit stiffer. And I've got the K2 After Black. So I had this one a few years ago. Maybe my favorite park board of all time is twin. It's fairly stiff, like a six or seven out of 10. Just super fun in the park. So new board to set up. So a good place to start with setting up your board is these reference holes. So this is where the manufacturer is recommending that you start with your stance. If you've got the right size board for you, then you're probably going to be fairly close, but there is a way to check this once you got the bindings on. So I've got a boring stance. I do negative 15 in the back, plus 15 in the front, thick straps on the inside. And to center my binding on the, my board, my boot size is nine and a half. So I do move my binding forward on the disc so that my boot is centered. Keeps my weight nice and centered, not too far back over my heels. Before I get this too tight, I'm just gonna check the width. And the way that I check is that my elbow to fist should fit in between my bindings. That's like a good reference for me that this is the right width. Ready to go. All right, we just got onto the Palmer chair, back over my shoulder. We've got the Magic Mile Terrain Park, so gonna ride down to that. And at the top of the mountain, we've got some cloud cover, but that might clear. So we'll see what happens up here. But it feels good to be back at Mount Hood. It feels like a second home here, and hopefully uh, it doesn't rain too hard on us today. Up on the left, we've got Illumination Rock, iconic spot for the summer solstice party. And we've still got tons of snow up here, so this is looking good. About to get off the Palmer lift. It's chilly. It's tons of snow. That's a good sign. I like that. What's up, Joe? What's up, Joe? Yo, what's up, man? Hey! <laughs> Catch you later. Woo! It's good to be back. New boots, new board. Same clue bindings. Oh, it does feel good to have a stiffer board. Looks pretty smooth. Oh yeah, this is mega nice. Like a nice, just large jump. This one looks a bit bigger. Oh, oh man, this board is awesome. Feels so good. So much like snap out of it. So some of the history about Mount Hood and Timberline and what makes this place so special is that in the summer months, so for June, July, and sometimes even into August, they have summer snowboarding. So if you need to get your summer fix, Timberline and Mount Hood is the spot. They also have snowboard camps. So I've been riding with the High Cascade snowboard camp for almost seems like 10 years now and it's an awesome way to come out get coached ride at some like amazing terrain parks and they still have lots of groomers and free ride terrain open as well it's like the epicenter for summer snowboarding and uh, i'm going to be here for the next month and a half going to be doing some riding for myself going to be riding with uh, the high cascade camp as well for three weeks so yeah if you guys want to learn more about that i'll put a link to the high cascade camp below there might be some spots left for this summer if you want to get your summer snowboard fix that is like the best way to do it but let's go for another lap so this is this chair is magic mile the upper chair is palmer and then there's the public terrain park is on this side if the weather clears up i'd like to do a short hike up to illumination rock but if it doesn't it'll be fun just to like lap the park as well Good old Kevo. Yo, what's up, man? Hey, How's it going, man? Yeah, how you doing? It's been a while. Uh, do you want to get some laughs, man? Of course. Dude, I haven't even got one yet today. Oh, perfect. I know. I did. Bro. I just did one. Yeah, I'm kind of up late, but. Yeah, no. Let's go. Let's chill it. Have you hit these jumps? Yeah, I was hitting them yesterday. They're fun. They're big. Yeah, yeah. 
I might hit this first one, but could I watch your speed? Yeah, uh, yeah. Of I haven't hit it yet. I, I'll tell you right now, you want to haul ass. You want to haul ass? Yeah. Okay, okay. I'll tell you that, right? All right. <laughs> Straight airing is like scarier than spinning. Yeah, yeah. The first one was like okay, but uh, yeah, the second one I might have to build up to that. <laughs> oh yeah, Brian. Dude, that was nice. It's just aggressive, bro. I don't like aggressive. Right <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is my favorite part of the day. It's just this little like 180 section. Damn, so you got those cool bindings. I got them, yeah. You're like peace, bro. That's I know. Uh, I feel like I'm cheating. <laughs> um, Woo! <sighs> I'm on a new board today. Oh yeah, how's that feeling? It's feeling good. It's like, um, it's a lot stiffer than my last one, but. What size? It's a 159 wide. Wide, have you owned yeah. a wide? I have the last couple of years, yeah. Honestly, for some reason, like the wide, it feels like more stable, just on like say rails and stuff. It's like just more, a bit more surface area to balance on. I feel like not having any boot like overhang or anything like that yeah. feels good too, especially like in the, in the slush. I was just gonna say, in these conditions, you almost want more surface area. Yeah. Brian, do you want a clip on this one? I could uh, get you with your phone, man. Yeah, sure. Sweet. You okay? <laughs> oh. I'll hit this first one, and then on the second one, I'll do what you did, kind of come up on the right side. Speed. Oh shit. Ah. Yeah! <laughs> we got out! <laughs> <Woo. laughs> oh, I left my sunroof open. These new boots felt amazing. Brand new pair of boots, rode them all day, no boot pain, felt really good. That extra stiffness, I felt so much more stable on jumps and everything. Vans High Standard Pros, I'll put a link in the description. Feels super good. Also, the K2 After Black was feeling legendary. The extra stiffness of this board was so much better for the slush. Gave me so much more control. Just wanna let you guys know that I'm doing a giveaway over on Instagram as well. It's Outdoor Masters ninth anniversary today. So for their anniversary, we're gonna give away five pairs of sunglasses. So if you guys need a pair of sunglasses for summer snowboarding or just for summer in general, hop over onto Instagram, follow Outdoor Master, follow Snowboard Pro Camp as well, tag three friends in the comments and you'll be entered to win. Shout out to Outdoor Master. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I'll see you up here this summer. Catch you in the next video.